Hi. Most everyone who's been watching me on these YouTube videos know that I have been on a diet on a weight loss journey for several months now. I've lost 30 pounds. That was six weeks ago and I haven't lost any more. I am continuing to lose dress sizes. I had gone from 22 to an 18 within that 30 pound weight loss and then haven't lost any more weight, but I have lost one more dress size. I'm down to 16s now, but I'm getting a little anxious to, to, to see that scale move again. <laughs> so I'm going to go back to what I was doing in the very beginning, and that is eating more protein. My trigger food is bread, bread and pasta. I can't hardly pass bread and pasta up. So if it's sitting around and doesn't have anybody's name on it, I think it's mine and, and I want to stuff it. <laughs> so I am going to prepare something to keep handy. It's going to be turkey sausage and uh, so I'm gonna, there's not a particular recipe for this. I'm just gonna give it to you because it, it helps stave off your appetite in between meals if, if you just have to have something to eat. And so I'm gonna show you how I do that. I start off with a three pound roll of ground turkey. This one happens to be 90% lean and 10% fat, but we're not gonna worry about the fat or the lean. The main thing we're going to worry about is what size of these turkey patties, these sausage patties that I want. A three pound roll of turkey has 16 ounces per pound, so that's 48 ounces. If I wanted a two ounce turkey patty, I would get 24 patties out of this. So that's going to be important later on. The, the things that I'm using to flavor my sausage, and this is strictly to taste, you can do it the way you want to, but I'm using cumin, fennel seed. I like the fennel seed because it makes it taste like an Italian sausage. Cayenne pepper, smoked paprika, rubbed sage. The rubbed sage makes it taste like a breakfast sausage red pepper flakes, and mustard seed. The mustard seed gives it just another little bite of heat. And then of course you put salt and pepper in it. But I do something else also. I've got a surprise or two in here. Here I have one fourth cup of red bell pepper and two dates. All of my vegetables are chopped very fine to the to the point of being minced. So I've got red pepper here and two dates because I want a, just a touch of sweetness. And the dates give you the sweetness without any added unnatural sugars. Here I have a fourth a cup of onion and I have two jalapeno peppers and then there's my teaspoon of mustard seed. So it's very simple. You just throw your turkey meat in there. You throw all of your spices in and you mix it up by hand. Divide it out into 24 patties and then you start. I go ahead and cook it all. I cook it all and I put it in four patties in a bag. And then every day I'll bring my bag out of the freezer and, and I know I can at least have four patties during the day to stave off hunger whenever the munchies hit me. And, and that has helped me tremendously to stay on track. So I hope you give it a try. And, and all I'm going to do now is just cut it up, uh, open it up, start mixing everything in, and we'll show you little clips from time to time. But basically that's it. So we'll see you back when I start mixing everything up and, and I'll fry up a couple for you and then I'll come back and, and put a couple in, in my sandwich bags. Okay, here we have the onion and the jalapeno pepper, the bell pepper, the dates, and all of my spices over here. And we're just going to mix that in. Now, you can, uh, 
You can use these little sausage patties with your eggs, just like any sausage patty. You could put them in a sandwich. I'm not eating sandwiches because I can't afford the bread. At this point, you could also make meatballs out of it and use it in your pasta. But of course, if you put it in pasta, I'm going to be jealous of you. <laughs> and then the way I'm going to do it is I'm just going to go in and get me a sausage patty and eat it out of hand just to stave off hunger if I should be hungry. Okay, earlier I showed you this whiteboard and, and I said that we were going to need to get 24 patties out of this. So I've cut it in half, so half of 24 would be 12. Half of 12 would be 6. So I'm going to need to get 6 patties out of this. So I'm going to cut it in half again, as close as you can get it, kind of eyeball it. Okay, so I've got 3 here, 3 here, 6 here. 3, 6, 6, 12, and that's 12. That's going to be 24. So out of these two, we're going to make three. And it's kind of easier if you make it all the same height and depth and width, and then again, just kind of eyeball it. So if I had my little scale in here, this would be roughly two ounces. Okay, I've got my skillet getting hot over here. Since this is very lean meat, I want to get it started with a little bit of butter. No more butter than I'm going to put in this pan is not going to hurt a thing. So if this is a tablespoon, then if I put it in half, then that's about one and a half teaspoons. That's all we're going to use in this. One and a half teaspoons. Okay, the butter is beginning to melt in there. I'm just going to patty these out by hand. And I'm going to fry up as many as I can get in the pan at one time. Okay, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven patties in this skillet. And as you can see, it's beginning to cook some of the liquid out. So, I'm going to show you another little trick. Seven was all I could get in there to start with, but now I can get eight. <laughs> and possibly nine. Now when you can turn the first one over to, to where you have a cooked surface here. Put a cooked surface to a cooked surface and you can double stack them. We'll keep forming and frying. You just keep turning those turkey patties little, little at a time, little at a time. As they shrink they get smaller and you can get more and more. When we first started we could only get seven patties in here. If you only cooked seven patties at a time it'd take a while. But as you keep turning those, then you can keep adding them. We've got all 24 patties in here now. I'm going to put a lid on it because that will help it cook a little faster. And we'll come back in about two or three minutes. Okay, it's been a couple of minutes. We're going to take the lid off. While we were away from the camera, I washed my, I washed my cutting board, my skewer, and my turner because as you know some of these patties were done and some of them were still raw and we don't want any cross contamination between cooked food and raw food and so I wash them with soap and soap and water and then I spray them with a salute a vinegar solution it's about one part vinegar to three parts water and just spray them and that decontaminates. So in the meantime, these are feeling 
like they're well done. You can feel the difference in them. They start getting very solid. But we're just gonna keep turning them for a minute and make sure that all of them has gotten down into that juice pretty good. Okay, so we're gonna take them out and put them on a paper towel on a, on a cooling rack. Okay, while I was taking some of these out, I broke two of them, but that's okay. We can eat the broken ones. And I'm, in fact, I'm gonna give, look there, see it's completely done on the inside. I'm gonna give my dar darling this part, and I'm gonna eat this part. I already ate the little crumbs. And that is so good. Mm -hmm. It's got a lot of flavor. It's moist. And two pounds, uh, two, mm, excuse me. <laughs> the jal uh, jalapeno got me. Two ounces is just the right size for a little snack. Slice them in half, put them on put them on your sandwich and you'd have four pieces on a sandwich and that would make a really nice sandwich. They're not greasy, this is just liquid basically. What I would do with these is I'll take four of them. One, two, three, four, and put them in some parchment paper. and then put them in a sandwich bag. And put those in the freezer, and whenever you're ready to take out four of them, and that'll last you for several days. And that was easy. Easy, frugal, healthy, low fat, no carb, other than the little bit of carb that would have been in the onions and the peppers. Now, what, it, what do you do with this? Do you know what you've created here? This is turkey broth. This is just seasoned turkey broth. So don't pour it out. See what little bit of fat there is in there? And I can guarantee you what fat is in there is from that teaspoon and a half of butter we put in there. Hardly any fat at all in the turkey. Save that. It'll last for four or five days in the refrigerator and plan on making a pot of soup or a pot of stew or chili or any number of things that calls for chicken broth. You've got a wonderful broth here that's very, very highly seasoned because the seasoning's cooked out. So there you go. Turkey sausage, how to help yourself on a diet, and this has been Granny B's recipe. Take it and make it your own.